Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I just want to share with you guys a hands-on look of a very cool Android application from Adobe that I've been using for a long time on my computer. And I did actually a video for this application a long time ago for iOS. And the application is actually called Spark Post. Uh, like you see right here, this is how the application actually look. The icon Spark Post post uh this was available a long time ago for ios and i've been using it since then on my computer because it's easier to use there what's cool here is that once you enter your account right you enter your account right there you create an account with facebook or google once you create your account with facebook or google or all, all your projects will automatically sync to the cloud and you can access them from anywhere any device and continue your work that's the cool thing about this service and it works perfectly good very flawlessly now i'm going to show you guys how it actually works and this is good of course for those that are new to youtube and want to create like some channel art or some art uh, headers for facebook twitter or instagram or you want to create some thumbnails for your videos um, this is a very cool place to start because it's easy to use and there's a whole bunch of templates here which different categories there that you can actually use and you can use them for free and you can go ahead and customize them if you want as well like for example if i want to use let's say i want to use uh this right here right this template right here i like this template i like the way it is but i want to customize it for myself all i got to do is click right there on any template that you see click right there and now you have access to add some text or photo you can actually change the design right there you can actually change the color palettes there you change the color palettes you can actually ch resize it so if it used to be a thumbnail now you could go ahead and change it to a facebook ad or to a for a blog post or a a instagram story but right there like see there it's cool that it actually has a youtube thumbnail right there so if that's what you want to do right youtube thumbnail you just click right there boom click done and now it's going to be when you download this picture is actually going to be the perfect size for a youtube thumbnail so you got layouts so if you want to actually create like uh like a collage you can actually choose right here like see there and it's really really cool uh you can actually apply effects and all that this is if you want to do use one of the templates available on the applications which are free to use and like you see there automatically it appears in my post which is the section where everything that you do here everything all the thumbnails that you've done all your life are actually going to be in right that section right there says my post you got templates now if let's say we want to create one from scratch right or from the beginning click right there and then here you got from gallery if you want to choose a picture from your gallery if you want to search for an image uh, for a free image that you could use for yourself or you could go ahead and choose a solid color for your um, thumbnail and start um, customizing it from there but right here let's go and search for a free image right let's go and choose uh like smartphone smartphone okay let's go and choose smartphone uh here you're gonna have a lot of images that are related to smartphones right whole bunch of image images there so i'm gonna choose an image here that i'm gonna use for this video that way when you see this video and you see this video um this video and you see the thumbnail you can actually recognize it really easily because this is where we actually created it so i'm going to go ahead and choose a thumbnail from here this looks pretty damn cool very simple let's go and click add there you go so right now i'm going to go ahead and choose whoops i'm going to go ahead and choose my s pen because that way i don't touch the screen too much with the finger and smudges it around so here right now by default is set to instagram but let's say i want to switch it to thumbnail i'm going to choose right there thumbnail at the image in the background i can actually move it around like you see there actually move it around boop i think that's good right there right yeah that's good right there uh i can move that around if you want if you actually want to do like a, cha a youtube channel art channel art right there there it is look at that plus you got other sizes as well look at that and i think there's also a custom size that you can actually do yourself there you go i'm going to choose right there i think that's perfect right there and right there i'm going to choose done and now right here i can go ahead and enter some text if i want double tap right there so i can enter that and i'm going to go ahead and create here write something here it says um 
creating thumbnails with spark post app there you go so right there let's say i want to do that right there right right i'm gonna put instead of i put that there you go done and right here i can also change the font so i could also change the color as well so if i don't like that color palette i could go ahead and change it like this there you go that one looks pretty cool or this one right here there you go looks pretty nice there um and i can actually also change the font there's a whole bunch of fonts you could choose from here got lado ultra natural but there's a whole bunch of them look at all the all the bunch of fonts you can actually use i'm going to choose that one shape if you want to change the shape of that you could change to that to this to that 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 like that like that i'm gonna go ahead and choose let's see which one should i choose i'm gonna choose this one right here this one looks pretty cool and i'm gonna change the color again that looks pretty cool done i could go ahead and move this around if i want put it right here if i want All right but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there because it actually looks pretty cool right there and over here if i want to add like another another letter like another like my name i'm going to click right there go click mark mark the gig there you go done and of course this one right here i'm going to go ahead and put it over here and right now if i don't want a background for that i could just click none or i could just click over here let me see add like a like the Instagram logo right there, right in front of my name. Is uh, you got the Instagram logo with my name, but right now I don't like the way the colors of my name is. So there you have it. Now it looks way better. Mark the Geek creating thumbnails with the Spark app, and that's it. If I want to add a filter to the photo, I could go ahead and add a filter to the photo like this. There's a whole bunch of filters available, but right now I'm just going to leave it like that um this of course uh design if i want to change the template all i have to do is click right here and choose one of the other templates available palettes if i click right here it will actually change all the colors of the writing so if i choose this right here look at that it changes right there that right there and if, if you keep on hitting here it will keep on going giving you random colors from this palette right here now i'm gonna have to go ahead back again over here switch this one to the color i want yeah this one right here i messed it up because i wanted the logo okay the color for this like that there you go much better so click done right there uh resize if you want to resize it to a facebook ad or instagram or profile story cover or page facebook page cover or twitter you can go and change it right there but we're good right layout this is just in case you want to do like i said before uh like a a thumbnail but in form of collage that's if you want to do that but right now we're just going to cancel that uh oh this messed up right here <laughs> we're going to go ahead and fix this again you can also like a see like you saw there you can also resize the picture as well there you go and of course over here i can go ahead and add effects black and white just like i showed you guys before click done now if you're done with this um thumbnail right we're ready and of course the size make sure you confirm that the size is actually youtube thumbnail that means that the application is actually going to be compatible with youtube and um, i can go ahead and download once you hit download right here boom the image is actually going to be saved to your profile or is actually going to be saved to your device as well or you can click right here and go ahead and share it to facebook or twitter or instagram or anything like that and ba basically that's it so once you're done let's say for example you are using um you're using youtube studio creator studio which is the application if you're if you're doing youtube videos this application is a must use so you should be using this application so if i click right here right and you click 
right here, right? Let's say this is the video that I want that thumbnail for. I'm gonna click right there and I could go ahead and change and choose should appear. There you go. There it is right there. So if I click right there, this would be the thumbnail for that video right there that you saw. But right now I'm not gonna be using that, this card. Yep, this card that. And basically that's it. That's how easy it is to use this application and to create thumbnails or channel or channel art styles for your videos or YouTube channel. Now keep in mind this application is free. There is uh, like uh, some paid options you can do here that will give you like uh, options to create logos for your company. Um, but right now it's totally free to use. You can use it. It works pretty damn good. I'm, I'm using it for a long time and I really like it. So let me know in the comments. I'll leave links in my description for this uh, application, which is really handy, especially if you want to create some your thumbnails or YouTube channel arts and you're new to this stuff. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to share with this application with you guys. And um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this application or anything like that. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.